I'm probably the rock <laughs> I've been drumming now for 14 years. Um, 24 now, I started when I was 10. Uh, and basically, uh, I was home and I was watching MTV, like, you know, a little mischievous bugger that I am. And uh, Green Day was on television, I remember that. So I you know another fellow, Zildjian and Dorsey, Trey Cool, basically uh, inspired me to want to play the drums. He was up there rocking out. I think it was a, a concert on 1996, so this is like right before or right after Dookie had come out, so they were pushing it pretty hard. And I just saw the basket case video shortly thereafter, and I'm like, man, that looks like the most fun ever. These guys are carefree, you know, and, and that is exactly how I felt at the time. So shortly thereafter, I asked my dad to be able to drum set uh, because I knew he had played drums. My dad, like, didn't live with me at the time, um, but he's like, I have a drum set stacked uh, in College Point, which is like this like, industrial, like, swamp hellhole by where I live in Queens. Um, Used to be an ice area, but got a little overdeveloped. And um, basically, uh, he gave me the kit. It was a 1952 Ludwig. Before they were even called Ludwigs, they were called WFLs. It stood for William F. Ludwig. And uh, I had uh, like the Fab Four outfit, like the white marine pearl, like uh, you know, so uh, 18 inch uh, by 10 inch bass drum, like a little can on the floor or whatever. And uh, and, and that was it. And so and I've just, I just haven't looked back since. I would say to a starting drummer, don't ever relegate yourself to any one particular style of music because I know that people get attracted to certain styles over others. Uh, you know, like as I was drawn into the Trey Cool thing, that was great, but then shortly thereafter, uh, but I guess I was encouraged by my, my father again because he would be like, well, it's cool that you like these drummers, but these are the drummers that I grew up on. So immediately he was like, bang, hit me off of Led Zeppelin, boom, slap me upside the head with some Steve Miller, uh, zoink, you know, he was like, here, check out some Mitch Mitchell, uh, you know, from Jimi Hendrix, and, and uh, you know, so I did, and, and then I realized that so many of those things were valid, you know, and then shortly thereafter, I'm like, Ooh, okay, Chad Smith, this, that, the other thing, David Silveria from Korn, uh, and I just took all those styles and melted them together, so I would say, always, always, always keep your ears and your mind open uh, as far as exposure to new things because um, you want to have as wide a musical palette as you can, so to speak. Um, and the other thing is, is you have to learn uh, to really play the drums. You don't overplay. Like for me, like I hit the drums really hard. I'm smashing the crap out of them when I'm playing them and it feels great. You know, it's really cathartic in that respect. But if you grip the sticks too tight or you're playing through the drums as opposed to letting them do the work, uh, you can hurt yourself and that sucks. You don't want to limit your career. I've already like degenerated cartilage in my hands. I got, you know, pain shooting up my median nerve in my arm and hopefully they won't develop in a carpal tunnel. But I've learned to change my technique over the years to still play hard, but let the drums kind of do the work. So I gave you a two for one, but they're both important. On the road, uh, my hobbies have varied and, and, and changed over the years. They used to be certain things, and now they've kind of melded into others. I like to go out and like um, and kind of explore where I'm at, depending on if it's like if it's America, and you know you're just like in the middle of nowhere, and again like you know there's nothing except like the Wendy's down the street or whatever. Then you know you, you, I guess I'll just sit, I'll read, I try to work out. Um, you know when I'm not feeling too exasperated, I can do so. Um, other than that, I, I love, you know, watching movies, hanging with the friends, you know, just socializing, talking about music, uh, meeting the fans, you know, asking them what, what really keeps them going and that kind of stuff. I just love making connections with people, and that's basically what this whole thing is about. So um, that, that's probably my biggest hobby. But when I'm overseas, um, I'm usually up bright and early and, you know, trying to find uh, the local, you know, uh, museums or attractions or anything like that. I'm like a big culture buff, you know what I mean? So. For Amur, uh, we are going to Disney World. No, we're going to, um, okay, after work Tour, we are home for a couple weeks, which is always nice, get to see the fam and the friends, and then we go off to uh, Canada with Breed, which is definitely gonna be awesome, so everybody's gotta check that out. It's gonna be a bad-ass Canadian endeavor. Um, and then shortly after that, we are going back into the studio. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing that for a little while. Um, Laying down on my funky ass Zildjian's, can't wait to do that. Maybe experiment with some new sounds, we'll see what's up. And um, then we go to Europe.